Uh, hi there, guys. Well, I just wanted to do a, just a, just a couple of few minutes on this. Uh, this is a um, well, as you can see, it says on the front, it's a a Mark three two six. What's it say? Three two six or three two eight? Let me look at that. Three two eight. Sorry. Um, it's an ESR tester. It says TR that's, uh, backslash LCR backslash ESR. Oh, TR, I presume that means transistor. And the LCR would be the inductance um, and the ESR, of course, the equivalent series resistance. Now, I've had this for about four months now. Um, I think it's very hard to get something and do a review on it straight away. I think you've got to be using it for a little while and get some first hand user type thing. So anyway, like I said, I've been using this for the last four months and £21 eBay. I think it's brilliant. I think it's absolutely brilliant for the money. Um, this is brilliant. Now, the reason why I bought this, because there are a lot of these other little meters. And I have bought before. The other little meters I've got a I've got a there's a couple in here. Um, and this is what I started off buying. I, I bought I bought one of these. Um, but these zip 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 connectors they get damaged really easy, especially when you're trying to squeeze in, you know, the uh, the bigger the bigger transistors. Yeah. You know. Tip 35s, they're not going to have it, and that was a pain in the butt for me because I was doing a lot of stuff with Tip 35. Um, basically, you know the little Slayer coils and whatever, and it is good to have a bit of a meter that works. This one, I believe, is another one. It may not be. It may just be a uh, it's, it's a clock circuit, which is basically a disjunct. Oh, uh, you know, you, I build them up just for the experience of soldering. And faffing about they never really made it to. Uh, they were just cheap um, but the reason why I bought this was because in order to do the bigger transistors it worked out a lot easier if I just had these little grippers little hook clips um, and that makes this fantastic when you put a transistor onto this not only does it um, show you if it's faulty or not you know, it gives you a nice little uh, Gives you a nice little thing. I don't know if you're going to be able to pick this up very well because this camera's rubbish and the lighting is not very good. I do. I am going to invest in a better camera very, very soon. I'm just going to find something that's cheap, but a good picture. So this makes this very easy to hook up onto, and um, very quickly. As you can see, that's faulty. There's no way that's two resistors, but this is faulty. I got through about six of them in the last week or so. Yeah, I'm just playing different experiments, doing stuff. Uh, and normally, on a, on a good one, um, let me just grab a good one, um, it will give you what it is. It tells you the the, uh, the beta, which is the HFE, um, gives you the pinout, tells you what leads are connected to what. Um, it's reasonable on the battery. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, what it says there. There you go. And that's what you get when one's working. Um, and it's great for inductors brilliant it's great for resistance it's great for transistors this actually does do quite well there's a couple of problems well they're not problems that should stop you from buying it one of the problems is these these clips i tend to sometimes have them hanging over the edge of my of my bench here and they can catch on and twice i've had to resolder and it's the middle one this one because this pulls off and it's not very good and so you know there and little bits of this look like it's starting to peel away a little bit in the corner but I'm not going to worry about that too much because you know I can just stick that back down again which is pretty much what I'm doing there and it's sort of staying where I want it to okay I can accept that um, so there's that to look out for but if you're quite happy with just resoldering it that, that's fine the only other thing is and, and this is crazy because I'm quite sorry, 
been stuck to by a bit of sticky tape. Uh, the only other thing is the battery connector. It's one of those nine volt clip connector things. And if I can just locate a screwdriver, I should have really tied it up yesterday, but I've been working like a bloody dog and not really had a great deal of time. Um, and I keep meaning to do this, but I keep forgetting to do it. So I just thought, oh, right, just while everything's in chaos, what a great time to start doing a little video. Um, can I take this off? Yeah, 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 that'll do it. Right, so if I rip this off, you'll see what I mean. Now, normally, there wouldn't really be any issues with it. I mean, it's great that this, you know, it's just got one, one bit there. And, and but this is the problem. You see this connector, it's almost coming apart. It's almost, you know, falling apart in itself. And sooner or later, I'm going to have to go in here and take it apart and put another, put another one in. I've got spare ones, but you don't really want to have to. Uh, I have to charge this battery quite a bit because um, I use it in other things as well. And um, I know it's not a rechargeable, but I just connect it up to my power supply and I charge them. I do it with all my non rechargeable batteries. They all seem to be rechargeable for some reason. Um, but yeah, and so that, and the fact that the hook clip there can come off when you catch it too many times, is the only fault I can find with this thing. And for £21, it's low profile, it sits out of the way, in actual fact, my uh, my little drawer things here, it's quite happy, I'll just shift that out of the way, to have a bit of second in there, sort of folded. I can just push it across and look how well that stays out of the way and it's so easy for me then to connect transistor or whatever I like and I get my read out nice and easy beautiful so out of all these cheap ones that I found on eBay and believe you me I got through near all of them this one I would say is the best I'd say it's the best because you can attach to it nice and easily no more messing around trying to push onto the SMD parts um, on some of these testers or trying to shove a uh, you know the bigger BJTs or MOSFETs into the ZIF connector because you're just going to knack up that connector and if that's the only way you've got to connect in there now somebody said to me they said why don't you just put wires in the connector then in the ZIF connector and then you know have like a you know snip these off and just put the wires in I, I suppose that's one way of doing it that's one way of doing it or you could just buy this those other ones don't have cases. This has got a case. You can chuck this in your toolbox. I'd, I'd say take these out first. Look, they're even colour coded to. Not that it matters what colour goes in where, um, but it just makes it a bit easier to identify when you see it up on the screen there. But you can chuck that in your toolbox. I put a bit of blue tack there to stop it from opening up as wide as it goes. So when it's sat there, it's looking more at me rather than facing upwards. Because I prefer it like that. It's bale is better than my. Let me just pull these leads out because they caught up. It's better than the one on here because this. Look how easy that goes over. I am so frustrated with this for that because I love this. This meter is absolutely lovely. It's nice and rugged. It's nice and. But this, ah, every fucking time. And that's that is the only downside I can see with this meter. Apart from it doesn't do. Um, lower pico furrows and such which is a little bit I'd have expected a little bit more out of it but I should have read the data sheet and well, apart from that I do like that don't get me wrong I do like that meter it's great I don't regret buying that at all and I certainly don't regret buying this but I've sent back two of those other ones the other one that I showed you uh, that has a fault it, it, it keeps saying it needs to be calibrated um, but this so far has been absolutely great so for £21 from eBay, if, everybody was, if anyone was thinking about, you know, is this worth getting or not, I'd say yeah. Uh, they have to go through some abuse with me, especially with the Tesla stuff. Well, more like Slayer excited cars. I haven't, I've sort of sort of done a Tesla car, but I need, I need some AC things and I'm not that keen yet on just playing with the mains. Um, I don't mind a little bit, but I, I, I'm not, I haven't got the confidence just to chop myself an AC Tesla coil together. But yeah, um, if you were thinking about buying one of these, like I said, I've been using it for four months. Brilliant, brilliant, hasn't let me down. The only thing I could just caught it again, then pulling it up, is that my table has this little thing where it wants to catch hold of these and try and pull the ends off. But like I say, if 
you don't have a table like mine which is just trying to cause me trouble um, and if you don't mind soldering them on if they do come off it's all good they fit nice and snug they don't just fall out or you know go wandering off um, yeah thumbs up thumbs up for that being so cheap and so versatile and it's in a case Cheers watching. See you later guys.